My biggest fear. Vocabulary activator. If I want to know your worries or concerns, I could ask, What's your biggest fear? What's your greatest fear? What's your worst fear? What's your biggest worry? What are you most afraid of? What are you most concerned about? What keeps you awake at night? You might answer my questions in any of the following ways. I'm worried about. I'm afraid. I can't stop thinking about. I can't help thinking about. I'm worried sick about. Has been keeping me awake at night. I'm scared to death that is the least of my concerns. Many great minds throughout history have pointed out that worry is ultimately pointless. I've gathered here a few of their wise words in the hope that they may not only assuage your fears somewhat, but may also teach you some vocabulary. There's nothing so wretched or foolish as to anticipate misfortunes. What madness it is in your expecting evil before it arrives. How much pain have cost us the evils which have never happened. Everyone remembers the remark of the old man at the point of death, that his life had been full of troubles, most of which had never happened. Personally, I'd like to say that I've seldom wasted my time worrying about things that might happen. Yet, even though I've gone through life with an optimistic outlook, tending to look at the positives in whatever life has brought me, I still, nevertheless, am cursed with the same curse that all humans are possessed of, the ability to imagine what the future may bring. It's this curse that provokes in us the dispiriting tendency to dwell on troubles that have not yet happened to us, and which, in all likelihood, probably will not happen to us. Self-pity. I never saw a wild thing sorry for itself. A small bird will drop frozen dead from a bough, without ever having felt sorry for itself. In Robert Burns' poem, To a Mouse, on turning her up in her nest with the plough, November 1785, the poet ends by telling the mouse, Still thou art blessed, compared with me, the present only toucheth thee. But, och, I backward cast my eye on prospects drear, and forward, Though I canna see, I guess and fear. You're taking a look inside one of the many innovative British English lessons in the British Library. I've designed the lessons to help you activate your English skills in the most engaging and effective way possible. Unlike books, lessons in the British Library are packed with multimedia components that make it impossible not to improve your English skills. Packed with audio-visual material, each lesson is as close as you can get to having private one-to-one -one English classes with me online without the expense. I add new lessons every week, so you'll never run out of new things to learn. And you can do the lessons on any device from a computer to a mobile phone. All you need is an internet connection and I'll personally deliver each lesson to you from the nearest and fastest server to your location. I can promise you that there's no more convenient or cost-effective way to take English classes with me, a real English teacher with a passion for teaching English using the very best available technology. The activators and other features of the lesson are available exclusively in the British Library at British.com. You can enjoy a week's free membership to the British Library and get full, unrestricted access to this and all of the other lessons in the library today. There's no obligation to take out a paid membership, but I'm sure that when you see what incredible value a British Library membership is, you'll join the hundreds of students who are already improving their English skills faster and more conveniently than they ever thought possible. To get your free one-week British Library membership, visit Britlish.com today. I'm sure that you'll agree there's nothing else quite like it anywhere online. The British Library, the best place on the planet to improve your English skills.